little bit about it. I don't know who actually designed it, but um, it's a piston-driven helicopter. You've got a four-cylinder, uh, horizontally opposed reciprocating engine. It's connected to uh, main rotor drive shaft here. It's connected by belt to the main rotor transmission. What that's doing is it's providing power to the main rotor blades and the tail rotor blades right here. Uh, the control inputs are through control rods. You can see they're moving around from the kids inside. Um, so what that's doing is it's putting the pilot input into the blades through this uh, swash blade up there. You can see the lower piece that the control rods are actually connected to is stationary. The upper plate rotates. So you can see um, what it's doing is it's actually putting controls into the blades at a certain point in the rotation which tilts the disc, makes the thing go forward, backwards, sideways. Um, directional controls provided by the tail rotor. You can see how the pitch of the blades is changing back there. What that's doing is it's increasing and decreasing the thrust. Um, as the blade turns, that provides your directional control of the nose. How is the engine mounted? I could see only two mounts. What's that? How is the engine mounted? Like, where, where is it attached to the airframe? So I've seen, yeah, I've seen two of these. I don't think so. You don't want to sit in the uh, airplane? Uh, that's pretty much it. I don't know if it's actually it. connected up here as well. That's what that's like. You know, on the airplane it's mounted like up here, like down here, like yeah, like an engine mount that has like a full place, right? Like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah.